Pauline Quagliata is looking for help as her oldest daughter runs to her new favorite place to play, the old playground behind Kendon Elementary. Now that my daughter is almost three, she wants to come over here now. You know, she doesn't like the littler toys. And this is the only play structure that has slides. It's off limits to students, but there's nothing keeping kids from playing on it after hours. I don't like her to play on it because it's dangerous. There's a missing bridge, there's rusty pieces. You know, there's no mulch and there's glass everywhere. Parents have the right to be concerned. This jungle gym is nowhere near national standards. There's just accidents everywhere waiting to happen. According to the U.S. Product Safety Commission standards, because this playground has nothing to soften a landing and has sharp edges that could cause bodily harm, it puts the Lansing School District at risk. Well, you have liability issues if you're not maintaining uh, your parks and your playgrounds properly. Park and Rec Director Brett Kaczynski knows all about the importance of playground safety. He oversees 75 playgrounds for the city. With the number of playgrounds that we have, the number of playgrounds that they have, there's going to be things that break and it's a matter of getting them fixed. That falls on the Lansing School District to bring it up to code or to tear it down. If they do end up just tearing it down, I'll be fundraising to put up another one. In Lansing, Alyssa Fenske, Fox 47 News.